So here's another really useful trick that you can use, not only to be better bullshit detectors, but also to get jobs. Because this skill, this particular skill, thinking in orders of magnitude, is something that we call Fermi estimation. Raise your hand if you've heard about Fermi estimation. So some of you have heard of it, most of you haven't. This is based on um, this idea from this physicist Enrico Fermi, who was really good at estimating really quickly pretty complicated problems by just using orders of magnitude. And the idea is that if you're way off on one side, you might be way off on the other, sort of balances out. These are behind the napkin calculations. And these always show up in interviews. It doesn't matter which field you're in, whether you're in you know, information school, whether you're in business, whether you're in medicine, Fermi estimations come all the time. So practice this. So let's do a practice right now. This particular story came out not too long ago, got a lot of attention. And the problem that, that was being stated in the headline in the story was that the US government had wasted $70 million on the food stamp pro uh, program because it was fraudulent. So the call here was that we should cancel the food stamp program because of all this waste. $70 million, what a waste. Every year, $70 million $70 every million year. Dollars every single year. Here it is right down here. What a waste. Buy a nice house on the east side. That's right, that's right, exactly. Um, so let's use Fermi estimation here to see if we can quickly either debunk this or say maybe we should can the program. 70 million sounds like a lot of money. How much in the context of the entire food stamp program is sort of what we're getting at, OK? What fraction of Americans receive food stamps? OK, you know this one. All right. It's 10%. Yes. Good. This next question is a little bit more difficult. How much does the average food stamp recipient receive annually, do you think? $100, $1,000, or $10,000. We won't do poll everywhere because I want to keep us going. How many people think 1000 a year? How many people think 10000 a year? If you did the reading, good job. You know the answer. All right. It is $1,000. Um, and that turns out to be about $25 a week. If you put 10000 then actually it should be 10000 over there. <laughs> the, the, we have 1000 in there. <laughs> it, 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 it is 10000 It's just got the comma in the wrong place. Yeah. <laughs> It's a weird color. You can be bullshitted even with comma misplacements. There you um, go. There you all go. right. No How many people there are in the United States? We know that there's approximately 300 million people. So now let's do the calculation. We know that there's 300 million people. We times that by the proportion, 0.1 times the amount of money they're getting per year. Look how big that annual budget is for the program. Now take that $70 million divided by 30 billion, yeah. $30 billion. And 0.2% of the expenditures, you ask anyone in the real estate business. Retail. Nor, sorry, real, retail. Real estate, would not have, they wouldn't want that kind of loss either. Um, if you ask anyone in retail, Nordstrom, Starbucks, any of the, even any of the big companies that, that are in retail, they would love the 0.2%. They're usually, they're lucky if they're between 1.5 and 3% annual loss to fraud. My dad actually you know, spent his career um, in retail, and I know that it was actually much higher than 3%. So a 0.2%, that's not too bad. Let's keep the program. The, the funny sort of uh, rest of the story on this is that the, agri the, the Department of Agriculture asked for a correction on this particular story. And it turns out, we don't know for sure because we don't know the number, we actually think it's worse than 70 million. But the point was, here, was that this number was pulled basically from nowhere. Another story, picked another stories up, number, this number sort of started circulating around and moved all the way up to Fox. Watch out for these and start practicing Fermi estimation and you'll get good at doing this immediately.